How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can ensure your website is optimized to convert your traffic for sales. Now, getting traffic to your website is only half the battle. But once you've got visitors on the site, you need to prove you're trustworthy and have what they need. The best way to do this is by laying out your website so as to funnel visitors towards your money pages. In the next few minutes, I'll introduce you to the five most important factors for driving conversions on your online store. In this video, we're focusing on converting e-commerce traffic, but the tips I'm going to share are relevant for whatever kind of conversion you want to make whether you're collecting leads, providing downloadable content, or simply encouraging users to interact with your content. Before we start, you're going to need a website. If you've not already got an online store, I recommend trying out Zyro. Uh, the Zyro website builder is easy to use, requires no coding, and lets you launch an online store in minutes. Use our code SITESTARTERS to get an exclusive discount plus three months for free with Zyro. But what should you keep in mind when building your website? Okay, so the first thing you want to focus on is speed. So ask yourself that, how long are you willing to wait for a website to load? Now, speed is crucial since 40% of internet users will abandon a website if it takes over three seconds to load. That probably means missing out on at least 40% of potential customers. You need a website designed to load fast. It's not just about user experience either. Google prioritizes page load speed as a ranking metric. This means the faster your website, the better you'll rank on search search engines. Making your website faster might sound super technical, but there are some really simple tips that anyone can apply to make your pages load at lightning speeds. Some of these tips include getting reliable hosting. Whether you're using a website builder, content management system, or coding your own website, you need to make sure your hosting provider offers a good service. Now, another tip to improve your loading speed is picking a lightweight template. There are plenty of templates with uh, Zyro and uh, they, you know, depending on the theme, obviously uh, you'll be able to choose one and they're all very well optimized. Now you can start from scratch, but if you wanna get your website going as quickly as possible, you can just go with one of these templates. Of course, you also want to optimize your images. Big files slow down your site. If you use image compression, your site will be faster without sacrificing speed and also start caching. Caching lets browsers save copies of your web page files to load much faster for returning visitors. Okay, now the second thing you want to keep in mind besides load times uh, when building up your website is of course the build for mobile. Now it's no secret that a responsive mobile design of your website is an important factor in increasing conversions. Over half of all web traffic comes from mobile devices. 57% percent of users won't recommend a website with poor mobile design. As mobile load time increases from 1 to 10 seconds, the chance of a user abandoning a website increases by 123 percent. And of course, all these templates right here have very cool looking websites. Let's just go for fashion, for example. Uh, you'll notice here uh, we have pre-made. Let's just go with this one, for example. So if you go ahead and preview, well, first of all, this is the regular view, the desktop view. Um, this is the tablet view. All right. And this is the mobile view right here. And notice how clean it looks. So when you're on your uh, device, this is what you're going to see on the mobile. And it's very clean, very nice. You know, all you need to do is pick a theme and just replace all the information right here. Add your own products and your own images and your own text and you're good to go. Now, if you want a fully mobile optimized website, start with the following tips. You have to streamline your navigation with screen space at a premium. You have to keep navigation as simple as possible. So as you can tell here, there isn't really much to mess with besides what you're seeing. It's as simple as it gets with regards to uh, this website and that's how your website should be. It should be as simple as possible and everything should be very easy to read. You have to use large fonts. Small screens means big text. Get your ideas across in a clear easy to understand way and consider minimal design again all these templates are very minimal make sure you don't overcrowd your page with too many elements because if it looks busy on a laptop just imagine how it's going to look on your phone if you want to increase conversions make sure your calls to action as big 
bold and eye-catching as possible. And of course, avoid big blocks of text. Small paragraphs are always easier to digest on mobile, as you can tell here. You don't want to make it bigger, much bigger than that, okay? Keep everything super simple and easy to understand. Okay, the third thing you want to keep an eye out for is testing everything. And testing tells you whether or not your website is having the desired effect on your visitors. Before you even launch your website, you can use tools like Zyro's AI heat map to show you where the hotspots of attention are likely to be on your website. You want your visitors to be drawn to important texts and calls to action. If their attention is elsewhere, your conversions will suffer. Once your website is launched, you can use real users to perform A-B testing. A-B testing is also called split testing, which is a method comparing the performance of two different versions of a web page simultaneously, version A and version B. You might test different calls to action, headlines, images, navigation layouts, or colors. To A-B test properly, you'll need traffic to find statistically significant trends. Once you have determined the winning variant, you should make the change to your website and then iterate. Okay, now the fourth thing you want to keep an eye out when building your website is using high quality images and videos. While it's definitely advisable to keep your images and video files compressed, that's no excuse to compromise on quality. According to stats from Google, websites with fewer, higher quality images convert at a much higher rate than websites stuffed with low quality photos. But if you really want to start seeing improvements in your website conversion rate, then you need to start thinking about video. Injecting your web page with a high quality video can do wonders for your conversion rate optimization efforts or CRO. Viewers can retain 95% of information received in a video compared to just 10% from text. And there are plenty of free images, by the way, within Zyro, and you can upload your own files uh, if you would like to make things a little bit more unique. What's more, studies have shown that using video in your website marketing efforts can improve your conversion rates by 34%. And I know there are stock images and videos within Zyro, but I would recommend making your own to make it look as unique as possible. Okay, now the fifth thing you want to keep an eye out when coming up with your own website is, of course, making sure that you keep your design as simple as it can be, okay? And all the templates here are fairly simple, um, no matter which template you go for. Uh, simple websites actually convert at a much better rate than complex ones. If you want to get started making money online, the main thing you should be thinking about is this. How can I make the user experience more straightforward? Put simply, when a website visitor has to think too hard about what to do next, you can be pretty certain that they're not going to convert. Here are some tips and tricks that you can use to simplify your website. First of all, use clear calls to action to tell users what to do next. So let's just take this example, but this looks pretty simple. If I go to this website, it's just colors, three tabs right here, and the name, which will take me back to the homepage, uh, and some social media links here. Um, and you go down here, you know, the call to action is see my resume. So this is probably a resume um, website. So yeah, it's super simple. You can go down here and, you know, clearly these, you know, this is his work or whatever. So very simple to navigate, so on and so forth. You can tell how easy it is to navigate this uh, website uh, as opposed to let's say hmm, maybe going to something maybe a little bit more let's just go with this one for example um, now most of the templates are pretty easy to navigate so you know i'm not going to be able to find something that's uh awfully uh complicated in here but uh, I, I mean yeah these are all super good templates to use uh, so i would definitely recommend that you stick with uh, the templates and just kind of switch the images and information uh, to your liking if you want to get going as quickly as possible. Of course, keep your navigation options limited and your flow simple. Keep text to a minimum. Try to say all you need with as little text as possible. And this is probably the perfect example of using as little text as possible. As you can tell here, you know, this is obviously a fashion uh, website. And all I need to know is that they have an about page, 
men, women, and some products. And of course, the images speak for themselves. You know, if that's your kind of style, for example, you like the dress, you like the whatever, this is the kind of website for you. You'll be able to tell that right away. And finally, use a minimal color palette with calming tones. You don't want to blind your users with ultra vivid or bright colors. So keep things if you can, you know, maybe a little bit warmer than cooler and people will be able to kind of rest on your website. So to say, you don't want to push them away by hurting their eyes. If you're ready to build a website that will drive conversions, the best place to start is Zyro website builder. It's a wonderful website builder and it's honestly one of the best and easy is to use. Not only does it make building a website or online store quick and easy, but it also has hundreds of speed optimized templates. It's mobile friendly out of the box and offers reliable hosting with 99.9% .9 uptime. Again, use our code SITESTARTERS or click the link in the description to get an exclusive discount plus three months free with any yearly plan. Do not miss this limited time deal. Again, you'll find it in the description down below. So that'll be it for this video. Comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and everything web hosting and website building. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.